Hello everyone, this is the MGTOW Cowboy. Greetings and salutations. This evening I have a quick video for you and I want to talk about, I want to share with you guys a story uh, of a conversation that I had today at work. I don't know what I'm going to call this video yet. I'll probably call it something like, I don't know, uh, it's hard to get through to the young kids or, you know, uh, young young guys are blockheads. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, basically, it's going to be a story about how there's this kid at work, and I've been talking to him, and I, I keep trying to, you know, I openly admit I evangelize MGTOW. I'm trying to get this kid to see the truth, but he's, you know, he's just so. I mean, part of it's not his fault. He's so brainwashed, you know. But part of it probably also is he's just really young and dumb and full of you know what. So, you know, it's just hard to get these young men to uh, to see the truth. You know, and the last thing I would want is for him to get someone pregnant or something happen, and you know, he destroys his life. And anyway, so I don't know what I don't know what I'm going to call this video. I'll, I'll think about it, and then we'll see. Um, anyway, so to start, um, okay, so. Yeah, yeah. To start, uh, today was beautiful. Uh, today was a beautiful day in Chicago. I think today got up to almost 70 degrees. Um, six, I think it was 69, six, something like I think I saw 69 on my, uh, what's it called, my uh, thermometer. Um, yeah, my thermometer in my, in my car. Uh, I, I have, uh, uh, right next to my radio on the dash, there's like, you know, it, it tells the, uh, it tells the, uh, the temperature. And uh, whatever, basically it was it was a soft seventy. Beautiful day today. I was in a very chipper mood. I couldn't help but notice everyone at work was also in a chipper mood, which was great. Um, work was nice. Um, work was nice. It was steady, no problems. You know, it was, it was just a very pleasant day at work. Anyway, towards the last like hour, hour, hour and a half of work uh, before we close, we we sort of um, we have some downtime. You know, business is starting to, you know, go down. Uh, we got to clean up, you know, and we have time to sort of, you know, eh, mess around and whatever, make ourselves food, um, socialize a little, you know, whatever, play on our phones. Anyway, so there's this kid there. Uh, I'll call him, I'll call him Mo. And uh, I've been talking to him for a number of weeks. I'm trying to get him to see MGTOW, but it's, it's real hard. He's, he's really indoctrinated and I think he... Also, he's, he's at that age where he's just, you know, he absolutely wants to start, you know, he, want, he wants to start talking to girls. And, and you know what else he wants to do with these girls, you know. And, you know, but I try to talk to him and I just want to tell you about a conversation I had with him today. So, you know, dur during the end of the night, you know, we have some downtime and I'm talking to him. And I'm like, yeah, Mo, so what's up, man? What What's new? What's good? You know, what, what are your plans? You know, what? any any plans for the summer and he's like yeah he's like uh you know i really i really want to get a girlfriend i'm really interested in meeting a girl and having a girlfriend for this summer and i was like oh oh really tell me about that and he's just like uh you know he starts telling me he starts saying you know like oh you know i'm i'm single and you know i'm 21 and i i i'm i've been working out you know and i got i just got this new car it's not a new car. It's like, I don't know, five years old, you know, but it's, it's a good, nice car, sporty looking car, great shape, you know? And he's just telling me, he was like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to get in shape and, uh, you know, I got this car and I want to show, I want to meet these girls and, you know, and blah, 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 girls, 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 you know, and I'm trying to explain to him, you know, um, yeah, that's great. These girls are great. Definitely date, you know, but, uh, you know, have you, uh, have you thought about going to university or maybe, maybe the military or it, it, periodically I'll, I'll show him, like, for example, I showed him, uh, last week, I showed him this, uh, this news article. I think it was Fox business. This is already old from like six months ago. There was a company in, out of the, the Dallas Fort Worth area that was paying truckers up to $14,000 a week. Not 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 a month, a week. Um, if they were like an owner operator, and they were, you know, if they would come and work, and basically to, to, to try to to try to get him to start thinking about like his future, you know, about you know his career development, his vocation, you know, and um, you know he's he's twenty one. He so so he's um, 
He's like half white and half Chinese or Asian, a, 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 M M Mongolian looking. I think he's, um, I think one of his parents, I think he was born in Afghanistan. And one of his parents is, uh, I'm not sure, Kyrgyzstan, Ky Kyrgy or, uh, you know, like, like Eurasian, you know. So he, he looks like, he looks white and Asian, you know, and, um. He speaks a second language, uh, but his English is really good. Um, you know, he comes from like what you could call like a lower middle class family, working class, lower middle class. You know, um, but yeah, he's got a lot of got a lot of opportunity. He's got a lot of you know potential. You know, and I, I try to talk to him about that, and it's just funny. He's so brainwashed. Like I talk to him and I say, you know, I want to tell you something, but I don't want to freak you out. It, women, women are only interested in women when they're when they're really young okay they're, they're, they just want to have fun uh but when they get older and even though you're 21 now in, in just two or three in just a couple short years even by the mid-20s definitely by by a girl's definitely by the late 20s these girls are going to become a lot more interested in, in marriage and and you know uh, you know where are we and are, are we going to get married you got to buy a house you got to get a steady job and all this and you know he just wants to have fun and I totally understand that. And, and I'm, I'm telling him, I was telling him today, you know, right now you're, you're in a very wonderful time in your life. Right now, the girls that you're going to be getting with, they, they just want to have fun, you know, and that's great. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to get anyone pregnant. You know, child support is, is real. And there's a lot of guys just like you who in their 20s, they get some girl pregnant. And then, and then they can't even really begin to save or start, you know. They're basically on the hook until they're 50. And he's just like, yeah, 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 whatever, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, man, I'm trying to tell you, man. These girls, they just want money. It's all about you. You got to develop yourself, this and this. And and then this older gentleman, uh, this guy in his early 60s, um, he chimes, he overhears us talking and he comes into the conversation for a couple of minutes and he's like, no, 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 listen. Joe, Joe, Joe's all wrong. It's all about, it's all about passion. It's all about, it, 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 it's all about, you know, being charming as a man. That's, that's how you get these girls. And I'm like, oh no. You know, the, he literally was telling this young kid, if he wants to be successful with women, all he has to do is be charming. And I just, I couldn't, I was, I was beside, I was beside myself I, I was trying to explain to this kid that that's bullshit. The one thing that you need, I mean, you, you need many things to be successful with women, but the one single thing you need more than any other thing, and that, and that is money. You need money. And uh, you know, figure out how to get lots of money, and, and you'll develop all the other character strengths that you need, you know, that, that women will find, you know, attractive. And just, oh God, I don't know, it's... I don't know, it pisses me off because I think to myself, like, well, first off, I, I, I wish I had known, you know, if, if I knew, if I knew then what I know now, wow, I've, I would have made some certain, I would have made some very choice decisions differently. Um, but I, the, the point I'm trying to make is I, I get pissed because I can't help but notice, like, this kid is not listening to me. And I understand that he's, you know, 21 years old. He's young, dumb, and full of, you know what. So, you know, he's not, he's, it's going to be hard to get through to him. At the same time, I also know that for years and years and years, his mom has been filling him with lies about women. And probably even his dad, because he's married. You know, his dad's a, a married cuck. And then, you know, couple that with the fact that, you know, they sent him to public schooling, right? The public school system probably brainwashed him real good, you know, thinking, you know, to wor basically to worship women and always cooperate with everyone don't don't become don't be assertive don't don't assert your own masculinity don't don't become a leader just you know just take orders and um you know i i was basically telling him that's all bullshit that's all bullshit you would become uh, uh i don't know i don't know it's 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 so sad let me let me give you let me give you one example and I'll close up this story. I keep I just kept reiterating to him money is the single most important thing you need. 
you, you need a certain amount of money to even be attractive to women. And he's like, no, no, it's not true. And I said, let me give you an example, Mo. And he said, okay, give me an example. I said, Mo, didn't didn't you just get a car, a, a newer or newish kind of car? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I got this car. It's so cool. It's sporty. It's white. It's da 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 da. I'm like, okay, was that car free? He was like, no, no, I gotta pay. I got you know, I gotta pay payments. And I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. And I was like. And it wasn't the it wasn't the shittiest car you could have gotten, right? It was kind of a nice car. He's like, yeah, no, there were cars, you know, for you know half the price, or there were cars for cheaper. He told me, and I was like, yeah, yeah, you 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 purposely got a nicer car, even though it costs money. Do you understand why you did that, Mo? And he's just like, well, you know, because like, yeah, you know, because you want to have a nice car. I was like, yeah, you want to have a nice car, but really, you want to send the message that you have money. And you want to send that message to all the people around you, including the women, the potential women that you'd be interested in dating. Do you understand, Mo? And he's like, well, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you see? And I just thought, I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get through, I'm trying to evangelize, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get through to these young kids, you know? And it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's an uphill battle. I know I can't save the world, but uh, I'm just worried, you know. I'm worried for that kid. You know, if I could save one kid, I, I'm just worried that you know he's he's a young guy. He's in his twenties. He's going to meet some some broad, you know, and uh, he's he's you know one momentary lapse of judgment, and you know she's going to get pregnant, and then ah, uh, oh, and then he'll ruin his life. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick story. I hope all of you are well. Um, if you guys get the chance to talk to young men, tell, tell them the truth. If you, if you, if you can, if you can tell them the truth, because they're being lied to everyone. Even, even older men lie to them that, oh, I better stop it right there. All right. So anyway, everyone, this is the Mixed Out Cowboy. Uh, if you like the content, please like, please comment, please subscribe and please, please share. And I'll leave it there. You gentlemen, take care.